Hey, welcome to day two of four on volcanoes and earthquakes. Today we're going to talk about the volcano types. So we're going to understand the three different types of volcanoes. There's three basic kinds. There's, little, there's more, but we're going to talk about the three most common. Today we're going to understand how magma affects the shape and steepness of a volcano. Okay. Have you ever visited a volcano? Was it big or small? Steep or flat? Okay. What are some famous volcanoes you've heard of? Are they large or small in size? Okay, go ahead and pause this while you do your quick write for five points. Okay, so there's three types of volcanoes. There's tiny little cinder cones like Sunset Crater, Arizona. There's big, bigger, I should say, composite or stratocone volcanoes like Mount Rainier or Mount St. Helens, okay, here. And then the biggest of them all are these shield volcanoes. They're huge, flat, sloping volcanoes like Mauna Loa, Hawaii here. Okay, so there's three types. So for your notes, what are the three types of volcanoes? No answer bank on this one, just write the question and the three types of volcanoes here. And then draw this please. Yes, draw this because I know you can draw it. Okay, go ahead and pause this, I'm going to move on. So make sure you draw that. Here we go. So cinder cone volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes are made, when they erupt, well they're made of hot cinder Hot, which is basically hot rock and ash. Okay, when they erupt, they shoot out cinder, which produces very steep-sided volcanoes. Because of their size, cinder cone eruptions are not considered hazardous or really explosive. Okay, so when they erupt, they shoot out these really hot pieces of rock. Okay, and ash. Okay, and they make some. It makes them a gives them a very steep side. Notice the scale here only about a half a mile wide. Yeah, that's right. They're very tiny. You can run up these in a matter of minutes. So here's a small cinder cone here in Paracutan, uh, Mexico. Okay. So these are like hot pieces of rock shooting out from the top, which gives them a very steep side. Like I said, you can run up these in a matter of minutes. They're very small. Okay. Here's Sunset Crater, Arizona, another cinder cone. Okay. So what is a cinder cone volcano? Question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. I'm going to pause. Go ahead and pause this. I'm going to move on. Okay, composite volcanoes. Composite volcanoes are made of layers of ash and high viscosity, if you recall, thick lava. Okay, this thick, high viscosity rhyolitic lava traps gases, producing explosive violent eruptions. The thicker, high viscosity magma gives composite volcanoes relatively steep slopes. So they're kind of moderate in steepness. They're not as steep as cinder cones, okay, but they are kind of like I said, medium, medium, think of them in, think of them as medium in steepness compared to the three types of volcanoes we discussed earlier. Okay? So you get layers of thick lava and you get layers of ash. These so these volcanoes are made up of layers of lava and ash. Okay, if we were to slice through one, that is. Okay, so Mount St. Helens, your typical composite cone, or also known as stratocone volcanoes. Mount Fuji, once again, these volcanoes are bigger. You can't just run up them, you can't just walk up with them in a matter of minutes. Okay, they're big. They're big mountains. So Mount Fuji, composite cone volcano in Japan. Okay, so for your notes, what is the composite volcano? Okay, questions on the left-hand side? Answers on the right hand side, use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence. Go ahead and pause this. Okay. Notice the scale here, 20 miles wide, big. Okay, go ahead and pause this. I'm gonna move on. Okay, so shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are enormous and they are large and flat in shape and made only of layers of very runny lava that travel long distances. Notice the scale here, a hundred miles wide, that's long. So magma from shield volcanoes is very runny and fluid and can travel long distances, low viscosity, right? Very runny. These layers of runny, low viscosity lava give shield volcanoes their characteristic flat, gentle slopes. Fluid basaltic lava releases gases, producing quiet, non-explosive eruptions. Okay, so notice, very runny lava produces these shield shapes, like the Roman shields back in the old days. Okay, that's how they got their name, because they're shaped like the ancient Roman shields here. Okay, and they're big, 100 miles wide. Good old Hawaii, big island, 
one mass, this is all one really massive volcano. And you can see the lava flows off to the side here, the basalt, okay, the very runny. Here's a slice through one, right? You can see the magma chamber and the layers of basaltic lava. Here's me and my buddy Eddie on the big island when I went there. Okay, I walked out here. This is a lava tube. Lava is flowing underground here, making new land where it, where it cools and solidifies to make new rock. Okay, so you get, an, you get this steam cloud where the hot magma hits the water. Okay. So, Olympus Mons, another example of a shield volcano here. Okay, it's a huge, it's the biggest volcano in our solar system. Olympus Mons, a huge shield volcano on Mars. It's the size of Arizona. So these volcanoes are huge. Shield volcanoes are very big. Okay, so look, here's an artist picture of, of Olympus Mons. It's very flat, right? These are very flat volcanoes because of layers of lava. Okay, so what is a shield volcano? For your notes, okay, question on the left-hand side. Answer on the right hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. Okay. Go ahead and pause this. This is the last one for your notes. We're going to summarize here and we're going to do a little review. So go ahead and pause this while I move on. Okay. Okay. So look at these questions. You don't have to write anything down, but see if you can answer these questions. A, B, C. Which one is which? Where is the cinder cone? Where is the composite cone? Where is a shield? Which volcano erupts explosively? Quiz yourself. Which volcano is made of layers of lava producing flat slopes or sides? Okay. Go ahead and pause this. Take some time to study that. Okay. Go ahead and summarize now. Please summarize. I made a nice table here for you to summarize. Draw these pictures, please. Draw these pictures. These pictures will be on your test. Okay? Use the answer bank. Write all of this down, this table. Write the examples down. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentences. Please put some thought into this. It will help you on the test. Go ahead and pause this while you write. Congratulations. You're down, down with day two of four. Have a great evening, folks. We'll see you next time.